Hi there, I'm Naoto. Welcome to my first vlog on the Japan list. Let's explore the hidden side of Japan. This time, I visited Inuyama Castle. Inuyama Castle is located in the northern part of Aichi Prefecture. Inuyama City is the outskirts of Aichi, but not so far from Nagoya City. Easy to access. Before getting started, just briefly though, I'd like to give you a general information about Japanese castles. There used to be many many castles in Japan, especially in the Middle Ages, yet the most of them were broken up or demolished, affected by some historical incidents. On top of that, it's very rare to see the castle's original tower, which is generally called Tenshu. There remain just 12 Tenshu as of today in Japan. Now back to Inyama Castle. Inyama Castle was built in 1537. It's a notably old castle. Actually, Inyama Castle is registered as one of the national treasures in Japan because surprisingly, it keeps its original Tenshu, which is actually an oldest type among remaining Tenshu. Inyama Castle survived through bloody samurai war period and some political affairs. It's really amazing that we can see it as it used to be. Now I'm just in front of the castle site. You can see two shrines right in front. It might strike you as an ordinary scene in Japan, but bear in mind, you have to use your imagination. You have to guess what used to be here. To that end, a very helpful tool is a map of castle. Now I'm at the front side of castle, which is called Ode. Conversely, the back side is called Karamete. Actually, the place where two shrines are standing today was also a part of castled site. It's obvious if you refer to this. This is a diorama replicating the castle in the past. You can see this at the museum near from the castle. In any case, this place where two shrines are standing today was called Matsunomaru. And Matsunomaru played a very important role as the first defensive line against enemies. Now, it tends to be overlooked but please pay attention to the lord just in front of Matsunomaru. Have you noticed? Here used to be a moat of the castle. In general, the moat of castle is called Hori. You cannot see the moat anymore today, but plainly, there used to be. Given all that, in the past, you couldn't go forward with ease here. There was a moat, fence, gate, and of course, warriors. If you hesitate to make a move instantly, you would be killed, perhaps. All you can do is just move along the way. But now, again, here is a robust gate, which is waiting for you. Oh, I can't go forward! But today, we are lucky enough, there is no gate, no warriors, we can go through. This is the backside of Matsunomaru. Perhaps the samurais of the castle has already noticed that we are coming in. They are trying to kill me. Oh gosh. And actually, on your left side, there is a huge hori again. It's dangerous to dare step in Hori, considering the risk to be killed. But hey, wait! The Lord is curving! This kind of curving Lord typifies a strategic intention of Japanese castles. We have to turn left, but in front of us, there is a defensive tower. Now, we are already very close to the center of the castle, but we are still in danger. This Lord is straight though, we cannot move out of way, and there are attacks from above, how dangerous it is. But well, well, finally we arrived just in front of the center of the castle. Uh, we are living in the era of pandemic. We have to measure temperature. We are all right. And now this is the center of the castle. The central area of the castle is called Honmaru. We are at Honmaru right now. You can see the Tenshu there, the castle's tower. It's beautiful. Before going inside, I'd like to see the edge of Honmaru. I'd like to see what kind of the geographical place Honmaru is located. If you look down, you can see it's very steep. In that way, Inam Castle is located on a small mountain with strategic intention. Anyway, this is Tenshu, one of the oldest type and it's very amazing that Tenshu is still there. It's okay to go inside now, but sorry, I want to see the backside of Honmaru. Wait a moment, please. As I said, the front of the castle's entire site is called Ote, and in general, there are more gimmicks and defensive buildings compared to the backside. The backside is called Karamete. The defense of Karamete tends to be very simple but also robust. And the Karamete of Inuyama Castle is just amazing. You can see the river down there. It's Kisogawa River. 
this lever is very effective when it comes to prevent enemies' invasion. They cannot simply cross the lever. And there is a steep cliff too. It's very robust defense on the backside. Now, time for waiting. I'm ready to enter Tenshu. Tenshu of Inuyama Castle is apparently a three-story building, but it's actually four stories. Now we are going upstairs. It's frankly steep stairs. This is inside of the castle. Well, some castles have many gimmicks inside the castle as well, but in contrast, this Tenshu seems to be very rather simple. Please take a look at this part. Uh, this looks like a small room. Actually, this is a kind of ledge of the building. If you look from the outside, the appearance is like this. This kind of part on castle's architecture is called hafu. Hafu is not just ornamental, but also used for fight. And now, finally, I'm reaching the top of the tower. The view from the top is amazing, but if you are afraid of heights, in other words, uh, if you have acrophobia, it might be risky to step out. But if you can, I really recommend you to enjoy the view from the top. You can definitely get the bank for the buck. Beautiful, isn't it? You can see beautiful Kisogawa River, which might be also a part of castle site. You can also see a decorative window, which is called Katomado. In English, flower top window or fire top window. Actually, the reason why Tenshu on Inuyama Castle still remains today is the contribution of these guys. While many castles were forced to be demolished because of some political affairs, Inuyama Castle had been owned by Naruse family. Until 2004, it was owned by Naruse family. In other words, Inuyama Castle had been the national treasure owned by individual. Thanks to Naruse family, we can still enjoy Inuyama Castle just like this, and also the beautiful Kisogawa River from Tenshu. This is Inuyama Castle, thanks for watching.